What am I wearing? Nothing. Who? Where? What? Sorcery. What's up? It's your favorite blind chick back on your screen with another one. I'm looking a mess because we're going to get the situation set up today. It is a get ready to chat to wrap up 30 days of blind. How have you guys been liking it so far? I really didn't think I'd be able to do it. I don't want to say too much because of course it's a get ready with me. So I want to chit chat once we're starting to do this stuff. But this is what we're starting off with. I woke up like this, far from flawless. Ooh, even though I had my hair in a hair tie and a bonnet, tornado came around my room before you came. It blew my hair in a mess. So we're gonna figure this out first. It's wash day anyway, so I might just do a wash and go. I don't know, maybe I'll do a flexi rod set again. If you wanna see my flexi rod set, I did that earlier as part of 30 days of line. You can click over here. But yes, let me figure out my hair first and then I'll be back to show you how I do my everyday, AKA YouTube makeup. Cause the only difference between every day and YouTube days is that I don't wear foundation every day. So yeah. I'll be back in a sec. I got the two cameras set up here. The curls, they're not popping, but they look better than they did earlier this morning. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is of course prep the face. I already put moisturizer on, that's my daily routine. But I've been using, this is how we're starting off. I've been using this lately as my primer because I don't actually own primer. That's how basic I am. So for this cam, this is the Glow Recipe Niacinamide Dew Drops. The first couple times I use this, I'm like, I don't know where the do at. I don't see it. I know I'm visually impaired, but I should be able to look like a disco ball with this. But I realized that more is more of this product. The more you add, the more you're gonna see. Because this is gonna be sitting under my foundation, it's not that serious. It smells like heaven. I wonder if it actually works. I've only been using it for what, two, three weeks now? It's not a miracle worker. You know, some products you use for a couple days and you're like, whoa, this ain't that. So as a blind person, or correction as a legally blind person because people keep coming for me. You're not really blind. Okay, legally blind, trust me. If you can see perfectly, you wouldn't want to see like me. So blind is blind is blind. But anyway, these two are your best tools for applying a foundation. This is the Hourglass brush. I don't know what it's called. I've had it for years and it's been everything compared to the other foundation brushes I've used in the past. This right here, this right here is everything. And then of course, I mentioned this in a video earlier during 30 Days of Blind, a good old beauty blender. I've been buying these since they came out. Yes, they are hella expensive. Yes, there are tons of knockoffs and they do the trick, but I always seem to come back to this. There's just something about, I don't know what it is. If you can tell me a perfect dupe, let a girl know. I'm gonna do half the face with each just so you can see what is like. I don't know why I'm so hyped for this. First things first, I gotta type this scraggly swirl of hair because we don't want it in my face. I'm gonna go wet my beauty blender and I'll be right back. My beauty blender is well saturated. We're gonna set it aside because we're gonna start off with the eyes. We're gonna do the brows first. I'm really loving this. Am I supposed to talk about what the product is during Get Ready With Me? Because if I talk about the product, it's gonna take away about talking about stuff with you guys. Well, this is Patrick Ta's, I don't even know what it's called. It's a brow wax, that's all you need to know. And I'm just gonna use this. This is what I use to water my plants, but also saturate this. They say you can use setting spray, but since just like with primer, I don't really buy setting spray. I have the same spending, can you say setting spray <laughs> three times fast? I only have one little bottle of setting spray that I'm not trying to waste on this. So water has been doing the trick. Now that I sprayed half of the mirror and only a little bit of the actual wax, we're gonna scrape with the end of my Benefit precisely my brows. You could of course buy the spoolie, but $30 for a spoolie, no thanks. You can keep that. My first trick to doing my eyes, any part of my makeup other than my foundation so well, is this. Can you see? You see yourselves? Imagine, wouldn't it be so crazy if I showed you a mirror and instead of seeing the camera, you saw yourself? That'd be trippy, but anyway. This is a 10x zoom mirror that I got from Winners, which is my vlog a while ago. I had a 6x one that I dropped and I was like, I've already broken many mirrors in my life. I don't need any more seven years bad luck or however long it is. It was crazy because we were just talking about superstitions the night before and then I was just fumbling with it and it fell. I'm like, no, I don't believe in suspicions. Super, super suspicions. I don't believe in superstitions, do you? I always wonder why, where do these superstitions come from? Okay, so I'm just combing this away. And I'm holding the mirror like this. Usually I'd hold it up like this, but if I hold it like that, you won't be able to see what I'm doing. So 
I hold the mirror close to my face and I'm just brushing. It's almost like I'm trying to brush the brows away because I can't really see the hairs. I just know from so many times of taking pictures of my brows when they aren't done properly that this is the way to go. So I'm just going to comb the rainbow. This wax is so good. I heard that the Anastasia one flakes. If you try to let me know. The amount of product they give you, I feel like this is going to last me two lifetimes. Just a little bit up, up, and it's up, and it's up, and it's up, and it's stuck. I want to know how you've been liking 30 Days of Blind so far. I want to know what your favorite video was and why. Because I did so many different things. The only thing I haven't done is game because I can't see a video game, but I've done everything else under the sun. I think I still have a video up of my brow routine if you wanna see the detail on how I did this or how I do this on the daily. Pretty much just ticking it up, ticking it up. And then when I get to this part, I just follow the arch. And you know what's crazy? Because I can't really see my brows as well as I did a year ago. Now I'm listening, which sounds insane but next time you do your brows just listen you can hear when you're touching your hairs versus above or below so i kind of use that as my way to determine am i drawing within the lines or outside the lines like this is preschool over here i'm just gonna use this spoolie at the end to even it out oh you know what i can also do i can also show you that this end is bomb for pressing in your brows so say you don't have time to fill them in but you don't want them to be sticking up. You can just tap it, tap it, tap, tap, tap in. Hopefully the camera is picking up my face and not the mirror. Blind chick problems. Like I want to talk to you, but I'm supposed to be doing it while I talk. This is so weird, guys. And then I cross my hands in order to do... Okay, it's not that serious, but... I kind of wish I was ambidextrous so I could use my left hand when I do my left eye. As I was saying during the intro... I really didn't think I would get this far. I set myself up for success. I took a while to plan out all of my videos to pre-record a lot of them, just in case I was having a bad day, which thank God, because four days out of last week, I was out of commission, just not in the mood. I was just trying to figure out how to get myself out of the funk I was in. Planning was key. I created a calendar, which I showed you on the vlog, and I'm gonna post on the community tab. I was able to get it all done while working a full-time job. I literally put it down to the hour, like, okay, at 10 o'clock, I'm gonna film this. At two o'clock, I'm gonna film this B-roll, and I'm gonna go back and edit this video, and I'm gonna do the second part of this video. My biggest fear, and that's another thing, I wrote down my three biggest fears for this challenge, and I think we should all try to do that whenever we're doing something different that we're unsure we're gonna be able to do. It helps you commit more once you realize what's gonna stop you. But my first fear, of course, was editing because that's what takes the longest amount of time. Being visually impaired, I can't speed up that process anymore. Even with all the sh keyboard shortcuts in the world, there's only so much I can do. So I decided, you know what? At the end of the day, as long as I edit the best I can and I give myself enough time, sometimes it took three days, three nights, three evenings to edit one video, then I did my best. My second fear was my microphone because that has been acting a fool before this month started. And I had to post a few videos without the audio, with my in-camera audio, because it was just, it wasn't it. I mean, not bad for a girl who can't really see it. I don't really do eyeshadow anymore as my everyday makeup routine. It may be like once a month that I throw some eyeshadow on. I'm not going to do that today because, hey, this is my everyday look. So it's going to be as realistic as possible. But, uh, ooh. We're down to the niblets over here. I used to love eyeshadow so much. If you saw my makeup collection, you'd be like, this girl's not blind. There's no way a blind person has this much makeup. But once upon a time, I could see better than this. And I like to play with it. Never got good at it, can't lie. I used to do like bright yellow eyeshadow and try to do the whole rainbow thing. It was not a thing, not on my face. Natural was always better. It looks so good on some other people though, but it's not for me. Once in a while, I'll do a little gold with a small cut crease of brown sometimes it comes out good sometimes it looks crazy i want to hear from you guys where do you live and what state is your city in i told you guys in my last week in the world video that i posted on sunday that we are living in lockdown section over here and this is not mascara here we go i've made that mistake before and it's very painful so yeah we're living in lockdown section over here where we were already in a lockdown then they put us in another state of lockdown and now we're in a more restricted lockdown but 
yo, I'm not talking about it again. I already talked about it there, but I'd love to hear what's going on in your city. Is it fully open? What's going on? Can your guard girl feet get done? Cause mine are desperate for pedicure. So I would love to hear from you guys. So I learned this trick from YouTube that one, you should never wiggle your lashes. You should actually use the fact that this is a circular spoolie because some of them aren't, some of them are flat side, but you should use these ones to roll up. Sometimes I still wiggle a little bit just to boost the eyelashes, but I've found in the last couple of weeks of trying this that my lashes look more divided. I have my mirror here, but I'm not really using it. I'm just feeling my lashes. And there's probably gonna be some up here because that's just how it goes. But I can always wipe that off at the very end with a little Q-tip. And then here, you just kind of touch it. Sorcery, I know. <laughs> the things I have to do, you know, one day I'm scared. Why am I craving sushi right now? I need to focus, but I'm really scared as much as I don't show it on YouTube, meanwhile, I'm talking about it on YouTube, but I'm really scared for the day when I won't be able to do this at all. Not because it's the end of the world that I can't do my makeup, but it's just like, what else am I not gonna be able to do? It sucks that I'm already not able to drive. I'm not able to pick up a book and read it. I'm not able to recognize my friend as they're walking towards me. What else in my life is gonna happen that I'm gonna have to give up, adjust, or just simply let go of? So it's not. <laughs> It gets so serious while doing mascara, but it's not the mascara, it's what the mascara symbolizes. And then I go in like this. Where's the tube? Where is the tube? Foundation. So I've been recently loving this, even though it doesn't technically love me back. It's not my exact color, but I'd rather be darker than lighter, which is why I went with, what, 370? Stop being able to read labels and bottles on things, not just makeup, but anything. Anything you imagine you pick up, you just look at. I've been not able to do that for at least seven years. So still not used to it. You do blender first and then with this second. So this side, which is my right side, which is gonna be your left, I think, is gonna be beauty blender. And you'll see the difference. So now that my primer has a moment to set in and sink in and do all the nourishment, I used to do it on the back of my hand, but I can't tell you how many times that I've gotten my hand somewhere it has no business being in and I make a mess. So I just put it directly on my face. Pants, 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 pants. Look, it just goes right in. What am I wearing? Nothing, who, where, what, sorcery. But as I, mm, I love this smell. It smells like a mix between something in France, like a powdery perfume and cucumbers. Don't ask where I got that from, but that's what it smells like to me. I never thought I'd be able to make 30 consecutive days of content being on this platform for so many years. I thought I would have a really hard time seeing as when I had better vision, I wasn't able to do it. But the trick is being organized. The trick is telling yourself we have to do it anyway. And the trick is being accountable. The fact that I kept saying 30 days of blind, I couldn't cop out because I already committed to you that I was going to be able to produce 30 days of content. And look where we are now. I was so petrified because I'm like, how am I supposed to do this and the weekly vlogs? Because the weekly vlogs take a lot out of me. And with not that much going on in the city, it's just like, what do I say? What do I do? What do I show you? I'm grateful for the experience of not just this month, but the last decade of my life of, you know, sharing my growth, especially because when I first started this channel, I had different intentions. I was all about the curly hair products and review. And then of course that shifted into something else and more into what it is today. But all in all, the journey of YouTube has really taught me so much about humanity and about myself as well, and just about staying true to yourself. And I'm so happy that it brought me to podcasting where I get to be authentic and so authentic with Alicia. It's one of those things where you start something, you never realize how much it's gonna grow you. I always say life lives you, not the other way around. If I know anything about losing my vision, pause before I get into this whole soliloquy, this sponge, if you really squeezed it, water would come out. I do that because the water helps blend it, as you can see. And I think it's a good thing that this is not my perfect shade. You can actually tell the difference, how easily it's blending in. Now, if you weren't visually impaired, you wouldn't need to do all of this because, hey, you can see the difference. But because I can't and I don't want to look like a clown on the camera or if I ever am going to an event and wearing this out, I need to have the extra water in here to kind of dilute it you know what i mean i do side two with this brush just to show you this is going to offer a little more coverage but it's also going to be not necessarily harder to blend out 
Okay, I feel I feel so weird doing this. I need the mirror as if I'm trying to catch fallout, but let's see. I just want to make sure I'm dropping this the right place. Okay, that's all I needed it for. Probably show you all the tools in my arsenal. So sometimes I use this. This one is I think two times and one time. So I can't tell you the last time I used the one time side. Yeah, can't see that. Two times. So if I'm ever doing foundation, I wanna be sure. I'll just take this like this. Before I forget, am I the only person that has an imaginary mustache? There's no hair. I mean, there is a few here I need to wax again, but not enough for it to be this dark. What's going on here? So weird. I remember when I worked at the law office, one of the clients they had, cause it was a personal injury law firm was a blind woman and she was more blind than me. And back then I had what, 20, 60 vision. So I could see better, way better than I can today. And I remember helping her out of the building when she was done with her consultation and she had a beard, a full grown beard. And I was so sad for her cause she was also homeless. I don't know how she was paying for the services, but she was homeless and she had a beard. And I remember thinking, oh my God, what's gonna happen when I'm blind? Am I gonna be homeless with a beard? Yeah, real concerns, you know? I wonder if she's doing okay. I don't think the injury she had endured caused the blindness. I think, I think she was blind and then she became injured and then she became homeless. Just makes you count your blessings for the way life can go. You never know, man. Like as hard as my life has been before vision plus the vision loss, I got a lot to be grateful for. As much as I want a bigger apartment because I'm over this bachelor life, I got a lot to be grateful for. Okay, so you can see. And I don't really do the whole concealer thing, but I will today for you just to show you. But that just buffs it all the ways out. Also because these foundations are really good at blending in. This is my HG. I've been using this for more than eight years, but I wanted to switch it up because I've been using this and Fenty Beauty for so long. Fenty Beauty's eyes, you know, unpopular opinion, don't come for me. Maybe the, what is it called? Ease drops are good, but I think this is way better. I like the Giorgio Armani too. I can't find my exact color and for 82 Canadian dollars. Uh-uh, uh-uh-uh. So I don't know about that. I love the way it feels on my face. The NARS Sheer Glow is everything too, but if you're gonna sell me a foundation without a pump, you can keep that. I'm do a little bit here. I still have a little bit of hyperpigmentation from when my skin was freaking out a year ago. Wow, we've come so far. That medicine that I was prescribed helped a little bit. I think it's mostly because I drank a lot of water, like a lot of water. There'd be times, I don't know if this is TMI, but there was no color in the toilet, which is good. That just means that you're flushing out everything out of your system. Still got a ways to go. Ooh, you can see the, you can see the glow. We're gonna add more because I'm I'm a disco ball when it comes to highlighter. It's my favorite thing. Everyone in my family has the high cheekbones. It's like the signature brown look and I'm so in love with it. A huge family for those of you who don't know. My mom is one out of 15 living kids. My grandma had 21. Yeah, ass, right? Meanwhile, I have none. <laughs> she did enough for several generations. One day I might have one. I think I would only want one. My mom is one of 15 Pickneys and they all have the same high cheekbones. So when we have a family reunion, you can tell we're all related in one way or another because of our cheekbones. So it's always been one of my favorite features other than my eyes, but my eyes sometimes annoy me because this one goes to the left, to the left, trying to be irreplaceable. To the left, to the left. Okay, so now we got a little bit of concealer on. Ugh, that's the best we can do. I can't contour. I can't contort, I can't do all of that. So we are just gonna go straight into buffing it out a little bit. I'm gonna use a translucent powder. That way I can brighten this cause it isn't my color. Just buffering this. Oh, I didn't even conceal my under eye. Oh well, oh well. <laughs> can you tell I haven't been getting sleep lately? Lately as in since October. Now that this is good, we can take this clip out of here. Isn't this so cute? I got this furry clip because I saw Leah's face use one of these like months ago. And I was like, ah, and I got it from Ardeen. Why am I so snuffly, stuffy and sniffly? So weird. Anywho, my camera died, so I'm back on. Sorry guys. <laughs> I'm gonna apply a little bit of lip balm. Since I've been spending so much time indoors, my lips have been drier than ever. How about yours? 
I've been using this and this is probably the first time I'll ever say I'm raving about a Biosense product for everything that I've reviewed from them. This is definitely the first, but my most beloved product. This is their rose lip balm. I don't know. I'll find it. I'll link it down below. But let's finish off the face. I'm just going to do some blush on the cheeks and then we're going to move on with the lip color. And that's that on that. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So time to blush and highlight. I'm going to use, please don't judge me. The packaging is tall up because I love this. This is the NARS Torrid. I also love Deep Throat a lot. And Luster is my oldie but a goodie. I'm just going to dab, dab, just over, overdo it here. Just a little bit. NARS is so sheer that you can build up without feel like you're doing the most. Ooh, ooh, just a little bit of life. I love it. I feel like a little doll. Her highlight, Fenty Beauty. This one is Girl Next Door. I like using the darker one. I don't really use that one that much. And I use this everywhere. I do the whole, <laughs> I go down the nose. I do above the brow bone? No, below the brow bone. Let's get it together. <laughs> and then I do the Cupid's bow, right? I think that's what it's called. I don't know why, I just think it looks really pretty. And of course I do the cheekbones. I don't do the most because this transfers so easily. This is like the opposite of NARS. NARS, you have to really dab it on. Fenty Beauty, you need to proceed with caution. So there we go. I think I got enough there. I mean, there was enough glow through from the product before and the foundation is very hydrating and glowy anyway, but you know, no harm looking more glowy and dewy, right? As long as you don't look oily. So then we're gonna wrap up with, this is what it do. The packaging that it came in was way prettier than this mess, but you know, it's a Muji bottle, still a good look. Hold your breath. Woo. <laughs> I missed the package that it came in because the mister for it was like heaven. It felt like a cloud that you walked into, whereas this is just spitting on me. I don't even know what this Anastasia product is called, but it's basically a tinted brow gel. And it came in a set and I've been obsessed. Oops, I added a little bit too much there, but we'll blend it out in a second. To darken, since we here, as I was saying before my camera rudely shut off, I am so happy that I did this 30 days of blind. I've never made this much content in one time. Usually I do two videos a week, sometimes one video a week. <laughs> I've also taken hiatuses where I've been like, am I on YouTube for three months at a time? I did that twice in the last 10 years, which is not bad. I'm so grateful that I had this opportunity to share so much of my life with you guys. And especially those who are suffering with Stardust disease, just so you can see that there's so many people like you in the comment section experiencing the same as you. It's not even about me, it's about that you can see there's other visually impaired people out there like you. And then to add to that, for me, <laughs> let's get selfish for a bit, it was, it was, it's been a good experience overall because it's really taught me a lot about myself in the world. Not only that, having my podcast and being able to speak my mind freely and having so many years of practice on this platform has enabled me to share so much on my Patreon pod and my public pod. I don't know who I would be without Star Wars disease, the same way I don't know who I'd be if I never turned on that camera in 2011. So, is wild. I just wanna take the last couple moments of this video to not only show you the finished look, cause there ain't nothing else to this, but also just to take some time to thank you guys. Cause honestly, without you, I wouldn't be who I am today. And I'm not just saying that just to say it, like honestly, if you go back in the archives and you see my old videos, support has been very steady. I've been appreciating responding to comments every single day and just seeing that you guys are literally growing with me. We're all going through life together. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. It's been real, it's been fun. And I don't even know what I'm gonna do now that 30 days of blind is done. But if you have any suggestions about what you wanna see next, let a girl know down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe, share, like, all that stuff to show you care. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.